Another case we're keeping an eye on the Pooter School's bus aid charged with hitting multiple students with disabilities multiple times was sentenced this morning in Larimer County. Tyler Zanella will spend the next 12 and a half years in prison after taking a plea deal. Denver 7 Sam Pena has reaction from court, including an unsatisfied judge. I think the judge did his best to serve justice to the best of his ability. Priscilla Miller is finally breathing a sigh of relief. There's no words to describe what happened or how it has affected our children long term. Her son is one of 11 Poudre County students with disabilities who were seen on video being physically assaulted by paraprofessional Tyler Zanella. It wasn't just one mistake like his lawyer was trying to say. It was... 164 times. Zanella initially faced 164 counts of child abuse for allegedly striking the students and insulting them on a school bus over the course of several months. A lot of us are relieved that it's finally over because it's been almost dragging on for a year now. But Zanella entered a plea deal with the county, which reduced the number of charges to 11. I was holding out some hope that the, the deal would get rejected. Um, I maintain I don't like the deal. Frustrating parents like Sabrina Herrick, who hoped for a harsher punishment. I don't think it's a long enough sentence, especially when you consider that, um, you know, the DA warned us before this hearing that whatever sentence he got today, he'd probably only serve half of it. Despite receiving the maximum sentence for each felony charge he faced, it's still far less time than the 164 charges that were brought against him. To be clear, Justice will not be served today. Even the judge voiced frustrations with the reduced charges and ruled that Zanella had to serve his sentences consecutively, bringing the total prison time to 12 and a half years without parole. And I don't say this lightly, but what Mr. Zanella deserves, this court is not permitted to impose. The DA argued that the plea deal will prevent students from having to relive their trauma on the witness stand. It's a decision leaving Priscilla with mixed emotions. If it would have been the trial, he would have served way more time. For Denver 7. But at the same time, to have this drag on another year or two would be really tiring for all of us. I'm Sam Pena. Now, the judge also issued a ruling that Zanella can't have contact with anyone under the age of 18, including his own children. Zanella's attorneys say they plan on appealing that part of the decision.